Hey, what's happening? Barnaby here. Not usually a hat wearing sort of a guy, but because it is summer coming up here with a lot of beaten down by the sun's rays, I think it's time to protect my skin, which Jessica Butcher, registered dietitian, is the largest organ of the body and probably the most abused. That's very true, Barnaby. And you know, we all know right away to stick with our sunscreen, even getting some SPF right in our chapstick to keep our skin healthy. Our lips are one of the thinnest areas of skin in our body. We certainly need to be safe, otherwise we're going to be setting ourselves up for skin cancer and melanoma. Well, that might be my big wonder is all about the food that you put into your body as regards your skin. How important is it to eat healthy to keep your skin healthy? It is very a help. It's very important. Food, if you're getting a lot of antioxidants, can act almost as sunscreen internally for our bodies. Tomatoes provide us with lycopene, and that's an incredible way to fight off that inflammation that's occurring in our body. It acts like that internal sunscreen. So when I think of lycopene, I think of tomatoes. Am I correct? Yeah, yep. Yeah. Tomatoes are exactly it. And some other great sources, I mean, other great sources of other phyto antioxidants would be like your vitamin A, vitamin C. So you can get those from your bright orange, bright yellow vegetables. So, um, you can get them in your dark leafy vegetables. Lots of different choices out there. Just try to get the brighter the fruits and vegetables, the more antioxidants you're going to be getting in your diet. Well, now what about dreaded fast food? Is that doing you any favors as regards the look of your skin? That's not going to do you a whole lot of good. That's just going to be boosting inflammation, and there's not really a whole lot of vitamins in there. Whereas if you're grabbing something like an orange, that's full of vitamin C. And when you think of vitamin C, think collagen because that vitamin C is going to spur collagen formation in your skin. Okay, for the young among us, a lot of people are worried about their complexion, and so certain foods promote blemishes? There's definitely a lot of controversy on that topic, but a diet that's high in sugar, perhaps high in dairy, perhaps high in those fast foods, that may spur breakouts for some people. But it's a little bit of a controversial area, but if you do stick with some organic dairy products and try to stick with whole grains and Maybe watch out for those added sugars. You'll have a lot less inflammation in your diet and you'll have a lot less inflammation causing those breakouts. All right, so wear a hat, cover your skin, put some <laughs> sun protection on, and you'll be good to go. Excellent. That's great advice. All righty. And you know, this is the value of the Hello Life moment. We are a life science and technology company out of Grand Rapids, Michigan, all about matching your commitment to a healthy lifestyle. HelloLife.net. Tell everybody you know about it.